Hi, Pete Moore, Gunmark TV, and welcome to this a very cold day on the range. Fortunately, it's not raining or snowing. And this is a Bagura B14 HMR. No great news, the Hunter Marks and Rifles been with us for a few years, and this baby is chambered in 300 Win Mag, which is a great old school cartridge. When you think of calibers in the UK, the average guy will go 223, 243, 308, 270, 30 odd six, and if you think in Magnum, it's 300 Win Mag. You've got this green stock, and all Bagara HMRs have what they call a mini chassis inside, it's like an aluminium inner frame put the gun bolts into so you're bedding in very nicely you don't need to bed the gun as in synthetic it's all bolted into a very nice chassis as usual length of pulleys adjusted by spacers just unscrew tightening screws on the recoil pad here and slip them out as you need to nice thick recoil pad the other good thing about this is it's got an adjust height adjustable comb so unwind a single screw it winds up and it winds down as you need it the only slight difference is on this gun, because it's a long action gun being 300 wind mag, there's a little cut out at the front of the comb so you can, the bolt can go all the way back if it's, it's fully up. Basically the platform is Remington 700 as we all know, but they've, these Bagura seem to refine it a little bit. It's got a quite a long, slightly angled back bolt handle with a nice tapered cone knob in the end, which is good. Typical push forward, push back safety catch. It's got a cocked action indicator. And what really sets the HMR apart from some of the other Bagaras is the magazine system. It's got an ambidextrous magazine catch. In 300 Win Mag, this is a five round, but in a single column. So the barrel is 26 inches long, which is probably, to get the best out of the 300 Win Mag, about right for the calibre. 19 millimeter muzzle, threaded by 15 by one and on this I've got a Hawks and Jet, um, 30 cal moderator which is a reflex cam which is from the importers Ruag UK. The stock and four is of medium heavy build and you can probably see there's quite a generous free float on that which is good for this heavy 26 inch tube. What I have put on this is a Barton Road 10 MOA long action Remington the Picatinny rail which is just the way to go with these guns though people will hunt with this younger fitter people than I I see it's more of a long range gun on top I have a Miopta's ZD 6 by to 24 by 56 RD scope it's got a mil dot reticle with um, 0.1 mil corrections and on this side it's got a very nice generous parallax drum for what it is it's an excellent scope plus you have illumination if you require it. Importers Rogue supplied me with a couple of boxes of the RWS Speed Tip Professional, a 165 grain ballistic tip, which is on the right with a black tip. In the middle is my reload. Henry Cranks very kindly sent me some Sierra 175 grain tip match king bullets and some PPU 300 wind mag brass. As you can probably see, this, the, the 300 case is what's called a belted magnum. It's based on the old 375 H and H. I have a 6.5 by 55 round here, just to give a comparison. It's a long action cartridge, but compared to the other two, you can see it's, it's much shorter. Factory quotes from the RWS say that the the bullet is travelling at 3,215 feet per second and creates an energy of 3,790 foot pounds, which is pretty damn impressive if you believe it. However, from this 26 inch barrel, which is particularly long, as you can see here, the average speed is 3,082 feet per second. And it has a st uh, standard deviation of 4.2 feet per second, which is pretty good. An energy of 3,479. The Sierra load, which was using in VIT N160 and 69.8 grains of it, with Casilo of 3.340, I had a high of 2781, a low of 2751, an average of 2763. And the standard deviation of 15.6, energy was 2966. It does seem a lot less than the 165 grain speed point. But if you look at the other figures, bear in mind this is a long range cartridge. At 1,000 yards, the 175 grain Sierra TMK still carries 637 foot pounds. And at 650 yards, it's still 1,700 foot pounds, which is the threshold for large deer. By comparison, 
the factory load, say, at a thousand yards, the energy is 385 foot pounds, and the at it's 540 for 1700 foot pound threshold. A heavier bullet will travel longer and it'll carry more energy, however, the trajectory will be more steep and angled. But it all depends what you want to do with this gun. If you want to shoot game with it you can quite easily it's not a problem it's a bit heavy to carry but if you're if you're up in scotland you want to punch out big reds then that's probably the way to do it okay here we are shooting we had to do it inside because it's peeing down the rain out there so i just would like to see how this thing actually shoots you can see the physical recoil of the gun and we can talk a little bit about its actually potential okay it's a single column mag the rounds go in the front like so Nice easy mag change, plus you've got the ambidextrous mag paddle, which is great. So, let's get ears up and just crack off a few rounds. Let's push the bag into it locks. My butt bag. Feed is quite smooth. five rounds so you can see I was, it, was, it was pushing me back a little bit but um, overall sitting down which is where a gun really kicks you it's not that bad that was with a 175 grain uh, Sierra load and you see it's quite controllable and there's no real issues on recoil just got to sort of hold the gun in tight feeds good ejections good you can adjust the trigger but I never did it's just a nice crisp break so no complaints actually wise the best group was from the RWS speed tip at 0.932 inches at 100 meters. Again, I was hoping to take it out further, but rain stops play as such. But it gives you an idea, plus you've seen what the ballistics are. The Sierra Reload was doing just on the inch, but this is a new gun, and so both those figures are going to shrink a little bit. But that's pretty good when you think about it, shooting an inch from the box and say sub one inch with a factory load so and it can reach out and give you confidence. No complaints. Price is good. I think the price is round about sort of 1400-ish would be on the end which for a 26 inch barreled potentially long range rifle in a long range calibre is a steal compared to what you have to buy some other guns with. So really it's a horse with a course I really don't shoot long range, so I would have no need for a 300 wind mag. And I don't, a lot of range hunting would be the thought, but I don't do much of that anymore. But it's one of these guns that it's got it. It's capable, and with a bit of fiddling, you know, you could tickle the trigger a bit, whatever you want to do, put a different body on it. It's there. And again, for the price, it's hard to beat. So that's the Bagara B14 green long action 300 wind mag. No real complaints about the gun. So if you like what you saw, tell your friends, comment, support the website. And as ever, if you want to speak about anything, it's pmore.shootingsports at gmail.com. Until next time, good shooting. Let's hope this bloody rain stops. Catch you later.